Howdy folks, welcome back to the Quarter Life Crisis, and today we're joined by the Beware GX Box, and as always, my uh, avid collector, Cat. Hello. Okay, so um, when we were uh, given the Gengar and Beware box, I think you said that you were most interested in seeing this Beware box. Yes, it's cuter. <laughs> you think Beware's cute? I do, but I also know it's a bear, so mm -hmm. it's scary. It is scary. Did you know that it, like, bear hugs people to death? Yup. All right, well, uh, with that, knowing that knowledge, <laughs> I'm still finding it their favorite. Uh, we'll see if uh, Cat's Box here does um, any better than the Gengar one from last week. So let's get this out onto the table. Okay, folks, so uh, as was always with these giant card sets, which, again, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Frame it. Frame it. Am I supposed to do that? I'm not doing that. Make a giant curtain? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it looks good if you have a bunch of them. Anyway, uh, it comes with the uh, Beware GX promo card for the Sun and Moon set. Again, pretty cool. like the 3D art. Um, as always, that punch looks... I mean, this almost looks like a completely different card on this part versus this part. Anyway, again, nothing too exciting here. Because we're all about those random draws. And to help us with those random draws, we have four packs. We're going to see another Evolutions, which hasn't really given us too much so far. A Guardians Rising, a set that I have a surprisingly amount of large amount of cards for. Uh, two Guardians Rising, actually. And a Steam Siege, another set that I am quite fond of. I think a bird just hit our window. Oh. <laughs> anyway... Let's open up Steam Siege, which I think is the oldest of the packs. Um, All right, let's get her open. Yeah. We're gonna start with a lit like on top. Ooh, nope. Open it up like that. Ooh, starting off with the triple X. Always a good way to start. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> okay, so hopefully we find a new card here. I can't remember all the old ones, um, but we're starting out with a Lampet. Considering that we get another, uh, we're going to get a Litwick here. That's pretty good. All right, into a captivating Poke Puff. Ooh, that looks delicious. I would love to eat that. I don't know. I don't know if I trust this. Look at all that whipped cream. Uh, mm. Oh, one of these cool split cards. Um, Azumarill. I've not seen that before, so why why would it be split? Uh, because it's two types. It's water and fairy. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yep. Litwick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Hopip in that colored pencil style. Sorry, we have a train going by, so... Uh, Meowth in the factory. That's the new ding. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Is that a Chinchar winking at us? Yeah, he just broke some machine, that little scamp. Uh-oh. Uh, Nosepass here in the cave. Um, ooh, uh, Reverse Hollow Rare. We've been having pretty good luck getting Reverse Hollow Rares. This is a Volcanian. Mm, looks pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. And at the very end, a Primank. With its own little crew of Mankey. Okay. That was a fun little first, uh, first little teaser. Yeah. If you will. Let's hope Evolutions is better, though. We're really hoping here. Come on. Come on, Mega Blastoise. I just saw the designs for Dynamax Blastoise. Yeah. It looks insane. So, like, this thing's got, like, a big old, big old cannon on its back. Mm -hmm. But the Dynamax one just looks like a, like a battleship. It's insane. A, like a warship sort of thing? Huh? A warship? It's got a warship on its back? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's what a battleship is. <laughs> <laughs> That's just crazy. It's got... Mm. A battleship on its back. Well, it's, it's pretty weird. Okay, uh, we're going to start off with a revive. Ooh, here comes Team Rocket. That's some cool art. It is some cool art. It's also a rare card. I think this is one of those cards that like they insert in every couple packs or something. Um, then we go into a Magmar. Uh, Ghastly, with a little grudge. Just a little grudge. Sandshrew. Weedle, with that weird screen print again. Tangela, talked about this card before as well. Ponyta, I think it's fine. Uh, I think 
this might be new. I don't know. I've never really noticed how bad the background looks on this card, though. But mm. um, A Reverse Hollow Onyx, which, boy, what a weird-looking card. And then on the very end is an Arcanine. Pretty, right. pretty tame pack on this one, too. Yeah, well, it's Evolutions. I feel like never have good luck. Okay, so let's see. Which one do we go with? Do we go with the Tapu Koko? We gotta go with the... Oh, man, I don't know. We'll go with the Legendary. We'll leave the um, the Hot Topic Pokemon for later. <laughs> Alright, so Guardians Rising. I don't know why I have so many cards from it. Um, I don't really recall buying that many. But nonetheless, uh, I believe the, the set completion is pretty good. Okay. And so we start off with a Hala for a Glalie. Ooh. Ooh. He looks, uh... Looks... I really like that that card. It's very creepy. Uh, Weeping Bell with the Muddy Acid. <laughs> that's not a good sounding card. Oh, Flood Shock. That's not much better with the Tentacle. Um, that one Pokemon that nobody voted for is their favorite in that one poll. Uh... <laughs> that's weird art. This is like, um... What does this remind me of? Does it remind me of like that 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 new SpongeBob movie, three D style? Yeah, I don't the know. commercial that we saw. I don't, I don't know. know. Pet Rat, uh, Carvana jumping out of the the muddy water there. It's pretty good. Uh, Cottony with a continuous tumble. Uh, there's a Vine Whip Bellsprout as a reverse with all those le uh, leaves at the bottom. At the very end, a Waylord. Cool. I like. I really like that cartoon art. It's so nice. I know. It's very cool. And then we have an energy at the end. But you know. What is that? Fairy. fairy energy. It's peeking out. There we go. <laughs> so there we go. Oh boy. Okay, folks. This one has to be like super good. Otherwise, it's just another lazy Sunday afternoon for us here. Yeah. That's all right. I mean, we're we're just adding cards to the collection. That's. That's all we're doing at the end of the day. That's true. Well, hopefully that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. There's a code card. Go ahead and put that in. All right. This one does have an energy, so I can show you it's a darkness energy. All right. What do we got? We have the Wage of the Fluff. Hmm? Whimsicott. Followed by Beware. So if you don't want to GX... Uh, <laughs> Sligu. He's a weird, weird looking bunny. I don't know. What it's a is. dragon. Is it? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's absolutely a dragon. Uh, Alolan Geodude. Uh, that soft art barboach. There's a nice little pop, uh, rock ruff. Pop rock ruff. Pop rock ruff? Yeah, that's say hard that to say. Say that ten times fast. Um, <laughs> the fairy. A vanillite that looks like he's from a... Like a Cartoon Network comic or something. <laughs> I like that. Uh, ooh, and a, ooh. Uh, a loop the loop talon flame. Loop the loop and pull. And pull into a <laughs> Lilligant. Another cute Pokemon. A cute grass type Pokemon. All right, folks. Well, that's going to have to do it for this one. The craziest pull that we got today, unfortunately, was uh, this big card. So. Uh, they might say beware, but uh, I'm not sure of what. Beware that the Gengar pack ended up being better. It ended up being a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see what happens next time when we acquire more children's card products. Uh, I hope you have a good day, and thanks for watching.